something which in some places takes weeks. Two and a half years ago, the Northern Uganda Social Action Fund was renewed for five years with the intention of ensuring steady economic improvement and livelihood in Bukedi, Elgon, Karamoja, Teso, West Nile, Acholi, Lango and Bonyoro sub-regions. The Ministry of Northern Uganda Affairs, which handles the program, was pleased with the progress so far, especially with Karamoja sub-region experiencing the highest growth. The workshop was called to update all those involved in ensuring this progress. The program director, Dr. Robert Lim Lim, says the review is intended to help them avert disaster. In this midterm review, we are looking at whether to introduce new disasters like landslides, like flooding, and auto also to expand to new areas. We have enough information and the independent evaluation done by Makere University gives us matching orders. However, the program has faced some shortcomings. We have a challenge, of course, of some entrenched bad governance systems, which in many cases have seen our people losing resources. And But through the work we have had with the Office of the IGG, we have been able to tackle corruption. For her part, the State Minister for Northern Uganda, Grace Kuyechini, appreciated the work done by the project so far, although the region poverty indicators are still evident and promised full government commitment to its success. As I told you, the focus is transformation of our people of Northern Uganda. I therefore also call upon you, your commitment as implementers at all levels to double our efforts towards the completion of the project. The minister called for the program to be extended more to the youth to ensure value addition and increased production.